Alright guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I got a very special video, an exciting one. We're talking about the Zebra Head vi music video I just filmed and directed a couple of weeks ago. Super stoked on this. Before I even start, I want to say thank you to the guys in Zebra Head for allowing me to do this, for trusting me to do this, and for being letting me be a part of this special part of the band's life. Super stoked. Just a little bit of a, a context. Their old singer that was with them for like 20 years ended up leaving the band. They got a new singer, which is my good friend. Adrian so when they got my friend Adrian in the band they started recording a new record and he hit me up one day he's like yo man guess what I'm in zebra head now and I wanted to see if you can come down and shoot some like behind the scenes studio update footage for us and uh, so we can put it up and I was like yeah of course hell, hell yeah so and ended up going down to the studio shot a couple of little uh, cool update videos for them in the studio the band ended up loving it from one thing to another um, that led to them asking me if I could film their first music video with the first single that they were gonna come back with the new singer my friend Adrian so yeah it's been a crazy ride <laughs> but like I said again thank you to my dudes for allowing me to do this super uh, grateful for this. Let me just show you guys a clip of the music video real quick. So yeah, the band hit me up, pretty much told me they have a new single and they wanted to film a music video for it. They already had a concept for the video. They sent me over, you know, like a little storyboarding and all that. I went through it, we did some changes, we discussed it. Before you know, we had about four days locked in for filming. The only biggest challenge of this shoot was that it needed to be done fast and a quick turnaround because the song was going to be released by the end of the month. So we needed to have the video done, edited, and finalized about two days before the song was released because they needed to have it ready for upload and press and all that stuff. And if there was any website that wanted to pick it up to do like a special exclusive release, then it needed to be done within two days of the release of the song. The concept of the whole video was burying the past and continuing on forward with the, their new singer Adrian. That's, that was the whole concept of the video. So we locked in about four days of shooting and we planned it out so that gave me that five days of editing, just enough to edit. So on day one, we had these scenes at a cemetery. So we ended up going to the cemetery with really like old school tombstones. It was very run and gun. You know, we went in there respectfully and you know, we were very aware and, and being cautious of everything. So we ended up showing to the cemetery. Within an hour, hour and a half, we shot the first verses, which their singer Ali slash Screamer was gonna sing at the cemetery, which was going to symbolize the death of the past of the band and the video would progress into the future. And yeah, I think the shots turned out great, to be honest, they look freaking awesome. The second day of shooting we had planned, we were gonna shoot at each member's house and they were going to be reminiscing on the past with um, nostalgic items from the bands, you know, uh, gold records and vinyls and anything that had to do with the band from the, the last 20 years. And we were gonna have each member sitting in their home, uh, kind of looking through everything. And it would be kind of funny to, for them to kind of be like, dang, like, you know, what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen with the band? So we went to each band member's house and shot those scenes. And then at the end of the day, we were gonna show up to Ben, which is a bass player's house, and shoot some kind of party scenes for the video as well. Um, the whole concept of that was Adrian was gonna show up and they were gonna celebrate and they were gonna be jumping in the pool and doing all this stuff. We even got some underwater shots that day. It was pretty interesting. Uh, I shot with the GoPro Hero 9. The shots came out great for what it was for being a GoPro and it looked great. But we'll talk about those shots later because if you've seen the video already, you're probably asking, what the hell does he mean party scenes and pool? But We'll talk about it later. We had a third day booked to shoot at a production studio, pretty much. Uh, one of our good friends, Kevin, over at Mix One Sound, uh, owns massive, uh, what is it, a warehouse full of filming gear, audio gear, and everything, and he has LED walls. So we were gonna film the band performances there with a huge LED wall behind them, and there was gonna be graphics going on, lighting, the whole thing, it was gonna be, it, it looks epic. So that was the third day, we showed up to the studio and the team there was great. They were there filming the band performances I was directing and they shot them all on the, on the Black Magic. They looked great. That was my first time dealing with some Black Magic footage and it uh, honestly it looks great. I was super stoked on how it came out. We did rent a coffin 
for some of the scenes, which I didn't even know or think it was pretty easy to get a coffin and rent one. I mean, it makes sense for like music videos and production, but it was pretty easy to find one. A band, the bass player, ended up finding it, picked it up in a box truck, and they brought it to the studio so we can film some scenes, and uh, it came out great. It, lo it looks awesome. And the fourth day, this was the last day of shooting, I was gonna go over to Adrian, um, their new singer, house, and film pretty much the intro of the video, and some shots of him on his bike, on his motorcycle, because he's uh, he rides a Ducati, and we wanted to get a little bit more of him and his personality in the video and one of the main things from Adrian is him riding his Ducati he loves his motorcycle so we we're like well we should get a shot of him leaving his house when he gets a text message about joining the band get on hop on his Ducati get some footage of him riding his bike down to the studio and then joining the band to perform but one of the tricks was how are we gonna get shots of him riding his bike well GoPro Hero 9 came in clutch again Scott, one of Adrian's friends that rides bikes as well, came down and was like, yeah, I'll help you guys. So basically what we did, we I have a clamp and we clamped the GoPro to the front of the bike and then I, ha I had him clamp it to the back of his bike and I was like, just, I pressed record and I said, all right, you guys, go have fun. Just follow him and then if he's behind you with the camera behind you, make sure um, he's following you and Let's just pray we get some cool shots and the shots came out awesome uh, like again Like I said for a GoPro and I used it in the music video and it it wasn't even really like like oh my gosh It looks like completely different footage. It was it blended in very well So I'm super stoked on that GoPro It's been coming in handy so much for a lot of my video productions and it it's great. It's great I think GoPro gets some some uh, hate sometimes, but if you know how to use it and set it up you can get some great looking footage. So um, going back to the party scene shots that I was talking about. So the next day after we shot those party scenes at uh, the bass player's house, Ben, the whole sh the scenes that we shot there were kind of goofy and funny and quirky. A lot of their previous music videos they've they've kind of had that tone. You know, they're they're a fun band. They're a really fun band, and they like doing stuff like that. But this video initially we wanted it to be a little bit of a more serious tone and after we filmed a whole day at, at the bass player's house and the party scenes and the pool and all that uh, they were kind of like you know what we don't I don't know if we want to use that I don't know if we want to keep that quirkiness and stuff in the video when we want to go for a more serious tone you know because the the video had the cemetery shots and we had the coffin and the performances everything was so epic and then blending in those kind of goofy shots weren't really gonna work and then just randomly a party scene at a pool and like underwater shots it just wasn't really gonna work so I was kind of like alright well you know what if we have to scratch all that footage we're gonna scratch all that footage and that's what we did none of that footage made it to the video and you know it wasn't a day wasted but for the most part usually when I'm shooting music videos or any project I like to overshoot some people don't but I like to have more than I need in cases in, in cases like this where it's like, you know what, we're gonna scrap a whole day of shooting. What else do we have to make it work? And that's pretty much what I did. I over I shot a bunch of B-roll footage and storyline stuff on top of that day that we lost. That way I can work something out in the edit. When it came down to the edit, I had to rework the whole storyline in a way because that whole day of shooting that we lost, that we got rid of, was pretty much a big chunk of the storyline. So I had to rework the whole storyline and kind of, not the concept, but the way the story was gonna go in the edit. And I worked off of the, the white roses a lot and off the coffin and off the whole idea of burying the past and looking forward to the future and having hope for the band with their new singer Adrian and with the new music and with the new album that's gonna come out. The guys loved it. I worked on it for the five days. I put in a bunch of hours. I sent it to them. They only had a couple of notes here and there and they ended up loving it. They loved the video and they released it and I read a lot of the comments. I did read a lot of the comments and the reception was great. Not only for the new music, for the new singer and for the new video. Everybody was loving it. So super stoked. It's crazy that I get to work on a project like this and and direct it and and it's just crazy it just blows my mind every time like it's it's awesome so like i said uh this whole ride has been crazy and and this whole adventure has led to one of the craziest things i have done in a long time as far as video and photos it's just i'm still like in shock so one thing leads to another and as some of you know zebrahead is a huge band in Europe and Japan and Germany like overseas they're huge they're big here too but overseas 
they have a massive fan base out there. One of the biggest festivals that's coming back after the whole COVID thing in the UK is Slam Dunk Fest, and that's coming up in September. So, the band loved the video, they loved the stuff I did in the studio, and they pretty much have asked me to go with them to Slam Dunk Fest in England, in the UK, to film another like live music video, behind the scenes type of things with them. Yeah. You guys, I'm going to England to f What? It's crazy. Uh, I still am in shock. I'm still uh, in disbelief. But yeah, um, we kind of sorted everything out. We got our tickets. We're ready to go. We're going to be leaving at the beginning of September. Going to head out to the UK and get ready to shoot. It's going to be insane to watch the band come back at such a big festival, come back with a new album, come back with a new singer, and just see the crowd go crazy. And I'm going to be able to document and film all that and just go and travel overseas. Like, that is insane, you know. I, it's always been like a dream of mine to go to England or London or, you know, go to the UK. Um, let alone being able to go with such a cool project and do something I love while I'm traveling out there. Like, it's just, it's insane. It, it blows my mind. So, um, like again, like I said, thanks to the band for believing in me and for allowing me to do this. And I'm stoked. So, there will definitely be some vlogs and footage of that coming soon. Um, and yeah, you guys, it's, it's gonna be nuts. The UK. The UK. If anybody from on this channel is watching uh, that lives in the UK or is going to Slam Dunk Fest or whatever, comment down below. Let me know if there's any tips, any food that I should eat. I don't know. I mean, the band's been out there plenty of times, so they'll know, but still. I want to know if anybody from the UK is watching. Maybe. You never know. <laughs> but yeah, you guys, that is kind of a quick breakdown of the music video for Zebrahead Lay Me to Rest. And there will be more coming soon, obviously. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments as far as filming the video or whatever, anything. Anyway, just let me know. So yeah, that was a lot, that was a lot. And I'm still in shock that I'm going to the UK. Crazy. All right guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.